to bet on young men like my son at Morehouse. Uh, that was really for most people, uh, as was said earlier, when uh, you kind of, that was your Tony Stark moment. I am Tony Stark, you know, like in the, in the Avengers. It's like, I, you know, it's like, I am that guy and I, can't, I have these powers, I'm gonna use them for good. Uh, why did you just decide to pick that moment just a year ago? Uh, and, 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 and what have you learned since then about the impact of that? Did you realize that was gonna become a global uh, a touch point moment when you did it? It's a great question, I did not. Uh, I did it quite frankly because it was the right thing to do. Um, I thought about, you know, we, we all have a, a responsibility to liberate the human spirit. That's what our responsibility is. And sometimes liberating the human spirit is reading a book to a child to excite their imagination, to help them understand what they can be in life. And, you know, I've had great fortune in what I've been able to accomplish and do in my life uh, to create wealth. And part of that is to be used to liberate the human spirit. And as I was approaching that day and I read all the backgrounds of these 400 young men and understanding the life that they came from, not too dissimilar than mine. And I remember when I was graduating from college, the, the burden of debt. And I tell my kids, and I've got you know, a 17 year old son, you know, he, he swears he's taller than me, but I will never admit that. Um, <laughs> And seeing him in all his beautiful glory growing up, uh, and I think about the burden that I had when I was his age, the burden of A, going to college, trying to figure out a way to pay for it, and frankly, realizing that I had to go get what I call a vocational job. And I went and got a degree in engineering, chemical engineering, and it was a great professional career but it's where I could actually get a job the day after graduation to start paying off loans, to actually support my life, support my family, ultimately you know, raise a family, have kids, et cetera. And I thought about that dynamic that these 400 young men now would have to face. And I said, what can I do to liberate their spirit? And one of the best ways I thought was to liberate a burden that so many students have and African-American males have more of that burden. They make less money on average and they carry more debt on average. Their parents often carry twice the debt that they, that they graduated with individually. And that debt, one of the things we discovered um, a little later after we were processing all these loans was that 65% of the wealth that would go to the African-American community goes in the form of student debt. Oh no. You think about that. Wow. Right? And I said, well, Part of what I want to do is liberate these young men to now go be their best selves, to deliver back to their communities in ways that they felt would actually move their community forward, as opposed to, you know, a guy like me saying, I've got to go pay this debt off. I've now got to go, you know, get a job, um, as opposed to maybe go teach in schools and teach math and physics and chemistry and some of those things that would advance uh, the community of, of African Americans in the STEM fields. And so that's part of what the liberation moment was. And that's how I think about it. It was a liberation moment. And it's well, been I mean, a joy uh, all along the way. 